The next component would be, say for example, the firearm is drawn. So we've got the firearm drawn because there's something that needs our attention in this zone here. But maybe we're not at full extension just yet. Whatever the situation may be, the context is we're not at full extension, but we're at a sometimes referred to as a compressed ready position or half coil position. So two hands are on the gun, something has our attention, but we haven't yet identified the potential attacker that may come from a various angle. So from that different angle, the attacker attempts to get hands on the gun, so a gun grab happens. So whatever he does to grab this gun with the intent to try to take it out of our hands, we want to fight the urge to release one hand to try to strike across our body. But instead, we keep the two hands established, well established, and we bring our elbows in nice and tight to our body. What we're gonna then do is apply what's referred to as rolling elbows, where we use our entire upper body, not just the strength of our arms, but our entire upper body to compromise the grip. With the footwork, what we're trying to do is turn towards him and take away his personal space. So all together, we have a good solid grip on the gun. The bad guy's got a hold of our gun, so now it's a bit of a battle. From here, we're gonna take a big pivoting step inward, and if the grip is still not compromised and it's a strong grip, then we're gonna follow it up with another strike, but towards him, all right? So we don't wanna necessarily pull our foot back. We've just taken the space. We wanna keep going with the space, stay low. And as we drive forward, then we're gonna roll the elbow on the opposite side. Once the grip is then compromised, we're in his personal space, we're gonna make him pay. So keeping the two hands on the gun, we're gonna drive the elbow into the chin here, creating more space and we can keep the two hands on the gun and strike again to the brachial stun side of the neck, whatever might be available. So we're in this position, we've got the grip compromised, elbow, strike, making contact. Now we can tap rack to ensure that the gun hasn't been fouled up and if we need to be effective, we can be effective in this position.